Oh my god. I absolutely lost it. I really have because my favourite Doctor Who showrunner has finally come back. Yes! How I found out was uh, Ace Creeper, well, George Sheard, um, his video I saw on their uh, recommended videos and at first I actually thought he was joking. I actually thought he was just, you know, trying to have a laugh but but then I saw the news on the internet and everything and even on his Wikipedia it did say that he was returning so I know I, I absolutely lost it. I mean I never thought this was gonna happen. I mean I'm pretty sure he did say one time when that he was never going to write another Doctor Who episode because he can never understand it these days. Well that's where he's wrong because I know he can uh, understand it and yeah, and I think he can make the show the way it should be, and um, not not that the other showrunners are bad. And um, I mean, the others uh, are great too. But uh, I Russell is like my favorite because of uh, you know nostalgia. But yeah, oh, now I am so looking forward to see series fourteen and the sixtieth anniversary. And plus, I'm definitely going. to to be looking forward for series 13 as well because uh, cause John Bishop looks like a great companion and there's like uh, rumours about the returning characters I can't wait to see uh, who's returning uh, I hope Sophie Aldred returns as Ace that'll be that'll be great uh, yeah so that's uh, pretty much it really um, uh, Oh yes, uh, just to an update for my Doctor Who retrospectives. Um, <clears throat> uh, I'm busy uh, editing uh, something at the moment. Uh, just busy editing works, and uh, which shouldn't take long now, because well, I've only got to take me about a week. Uh, well, it'll take me uh, a week to finish off now. Um, but yes, uh, then I'll be happy to uh, get back onto Doctor Who retrospective. Um, I am going to be doing uh, the classic series as I've mentioned in my introduction uh, video, um, the updated one, uh, the one it's currently on, uh, uh, well, the first thing you'll see on my channel. Um, but yes, uh, I'm doing the classic. Uh, the first one I'm going to be doing is Remembrance of the Daleks, which is Sylvester McCoy's story. Um, the reason why I picked that one, because, well, I just think it's uh, a great choice to start. Uh, it is uh, considered to be one of the best uh, classic stories, which I can see why, and, um, well, as I really do enjoy it, uh, definitely one of the best, uh, um, so that's why I'm going to be doing that, and also because of, uh, well, because the DVD files that I used to collect when I was a kid, um, because from 1 to 28, I had Mon series in order from Rose to Journey's End, and then Issue 29, there was uh, Remembrance of the Daleks in classic episodes in no particular order, whereas modern series, they did it in order, which is what I'm doing with uh, Doctor Who retrospectives, because I just think it's fun that way. Plus, I don't want to end up, you know, after uh, completing the first three Hartnell um, stories and then waiting God knows how long for Marco Polo to be animated, then to get the retrospective out. But yes, I'm still doing uh, uh, Doctor Who retrospectives. Uh, I don't plan on uh, quitting that uh, anytime soon. Well, why would I? Because I've had a blast doing it. But of course, uh, after Remembrance of the Daleks, um, <clears throat> I'll be doing uh, Torchwood's Children of Earth, since that's the next uh, modern era in order. So yes, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, Hope you guys are, well, keeping well, and I shall see you guys in the next video.